And I just off today. Hey guys, Anthony Taylor here. Welcome back to another, um, this is going to be my, my final part, my part three of the rest of my, the rest of my video game collection right here. I believe this is all the games that I have right here, all that I have left right here in front of me here. So, yep, so I have just a few more games to show you guys. I think it's like 30 or 40 or maybe, maybe 50 more games of this, so. Hope this video won't be as long as the other one. I apologize, I apologize for the long videos on my channel, guys, but. It is what it is with me, so. Anyway, I'm gonna start with all the, all the bigger cases and stuff first. Here, and then I'll show you guys all the little, or all the, all the little, like, Super Nintendo and, and 64 games and stuff that I got. Let's see. I'll start with that, too. I'm gonna start with, let's see. Hang on. Save all that. Save that one, too. Yeah, yep. Uh, first off is gonna be here. I'll start with I'll start with some more Sega games first, like I did first in the first video. So some more Sega games. These are Sega CD games, actually. This is one called uh, Pugsy, um, like an adventure game, like an alien or like a tongue character guy or something. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this game, but pretty fun game. I miss playing this though. That was um that was that was um. That was probably the second game of my childhood right there, guys, that one. I used to play the heck out of this game when I was a kid. It was a fun game. Um, I almost completed it one time, then I had to start all over, but it's a hard game. Uh, next one. Um, I think this is a movie with, uh, I say his name, Sylvester Stallone. He was in, um, this is Cliffhanger. It's like a CD game right here, so you guys can see. So, yep, there's that. And then, uh, next is another, another, uh, let's see, ESPN National Hockey Night. Another hockey game, guys. So, yep. And then next up is, ooh, I don't have the, um, I don't have the, um, I don't have the front of the case for it. But here, I'll show you guys, um, the back of it here. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here. This, right here. I'll go for it. And then here's the actual disc. Mighty Morphin. I think that's the. Um, I think that's either the, either the first season of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or the, or the Power Rangers movie of this game on the Sega CD. I don't know. Either one of those though. But yep, there's that. And then, let's see, what else do I have? I'm gonna put them. Put this way so I can put them away. Turn back. Um. I say this one, microcosm. I don't know, it's like a, like a Doom type game or something like that for the Sega CD. So, yep, there's that. And next up is gonna be, I got a couple of more Sega Genesis games here first, guy. Oh, and, hang on. I have another one of, you guys probably saw a little bit of it. And I have a little bit more of, Let's see, I'm gonna show you guys these here. Let's see, this is another Sega Genesis game. I don't have the actual case for it, but this is, um, this is a fun game. It's really easy to complete. I actually completed this game 100%, at least like, you know, like five or six or seven times, but Disney's The Little Mermaid right there. So, yep, yeah. So yep, that's a fun, that's a fun game. Really hard to complete 100%, but it's worth it when you, when you do it though. Um, next up is, um, I guess you can consider this kind of like a 2D, 2D version of, like, of, like, the first Pitfall game, I guess, or Pitfall, um, Uncharted game, I guess you could say, but this is Pitfall, the Mayhem, or the Mayhem Adventure, something like that, so, yeah, let me show you guys one of the screenshots so you guys will get an idea of what it is, um, these two pictures right here. See, kind of looks like a kind of looks like a 2D version, like Uncharted or something, like that right there, called Pitfall, the main adventure, right there. So yeah. And then next up I have is another. Um, I think I showed you guys like two of these already, but this is another one in the series. This is Dragon's Lair 3D: Return to the Lair. The um like the like the point click adventure game I showed you guys. But this is the Dragon's Lair 3D. Return to the Lair. This is for the original Xbox. So, yep, there's that. 
And next up I have, oh, I have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The Wii, ver the Wii U version, I mean. I'll say the Wii version, but the Wii U version. And then I'll say the Wii U version. Um, I like this one better because it's, it's, it's easier. I think it's easier than the Definitive Edition, the Switch version. But I like this one better. The Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. So, right there. Yep. So. Yep, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you a little, little thing linked right here. For that. So, yep, there's that. And then I got, yeah, um, that's all for that. That's all for that stuff. Put this stuff away right now. Before I get to the other stuff here, because I want to try to put all these games back the way where I got them from and everything. So, this is that. My, um, uh, what do you call these? Like these, like these, um, those drawers, like those, like those stacks of, like, drawers. This is where I got, this is where I got most of these games out of them. Let's show you guys. I'm gonna put them all back in here. So, first off is gonna be, let's see, first off is gonna be, let me show you guys. This is, a. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to finish off the rest of the Sega stuff here. Um, the original Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Eye of the Beholder. Have you guys ever heard of that game before? That's what, I don't have any artwork to show you guys. It's just a, just a regular disc. No, no artwork or anything. So. Got that. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Lethal Weapon Enforcers. Sega CD right there. So. I played that game a lot as a kid. Um, I played, I didn't, I didn't get to play that until I was like, oh, 11 or 12 or 13 or something. Yeah. Now next is, this is like a computer game. These are like Halloween adventure slash type games, horror type game. Um, this is featuring, how do you say this? Ult, Alter Mayor, Alter Nightmare? 3D for Windows, um, Power Pack, 6, CD-ROM. Um, this is, this collection concludes Creep Clash, God of Thunder, Ken's Labyrinth, Nightmare 3D, Plague of the Moon, and X-Attacks, X-Attacks or something like that, right there. And then here's all the titles I was reading, if you guys want to know what I was reading right there. There's that, and then there's, like, some little things like Nightmare 3D, Plague of the Moon, and Creep Clash. You have an idea what they're kind of like, they like... You like point and click adventure games. Oh, uh, like uh, what's that one? Um, the NES game, the um, the Manic Mansion or Maniac Mansion, something like that. Um, PlayStation, PlayStation One games, Wheel of Fortune, Second Edition, right there. Uh, let's see, the Bombing Islands. Now this little um. Bombing Islands. This little, um, this little clown guy, I think he's actually in another game, too, as well. But I can't think of it right now. Oh, I think I know it, but I can't think of it. I can't think of it right now. Next is the original Spyro the Dragon. Right there. And then the very, very first Harry Potter game, guys. Or the Harry Potter movie, too, as well. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or, or some people... Well, most people refer, refer to it as Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. But on here it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Right there, as you guys can see that. So, yeah. Why do you keep on falling back down? Uh, let's stay there for now. Because I got 
some more you know, PlayStation Vita. Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. That's the only, only the one game I got for that there. So and then um I have some 3DS games here. And regular DS games here. First off is um I think I showed you guys this without the case of my part one of this video game collection. Um, Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure. But, um, I thought this one you can only play with Spyro. But you have to actually play with, like, I think you actually have to play with, like, 30 or 40 or 50 different characters in this game here. Like, it shows you on the back here all the characters you can you, you need to play as. So, I'm not going to go through well here. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to say all the characters again, but. There's Dark Spyro, Spyro, Double Trouble, Wrecking Ball, Voodoo, Igniter, Sunburn, Flame Singer, Eruptor, Camo, Stomp, Smash, Zook, and Stealth Health. So, yep, those are all the characters you need to play that game. All the Skylanders characters you need to play that game with. And then next is, I'll do this one, um, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. This is, this is, uh, this is the same one for the Wii U, but this is a 3DS version of it, so. So, yep. And then I'm gonna put those, I'm gonna put the DS games in here first that I got, the rest of them I got. Here, we'll start with this one. Nope, another, another one of the original Wipeout game. This one hasn't even, this one's still sealed as you guys can see. It hasn't even been opened yet, but the original Wipeout again. Let's put that right there, and then, oh, well, I'm talking about video games. Oh, I think I found these in a, a newspaper, like, um, Oh, when was this? Back in like 20... Back in like 2007, I believe. That was what... Like 16 years ago? I found pictures of the, uh, the, 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 the original Mario Brothers. But these are pictures of the... These are pictures of the Ouija, though. From the original Mario Bros. arcade game. You guys can see that got that so those right there Luigi um and the crab chasing him up the um up the um up the um up the sewer lines in New York City I think that's where that game where, where that uh, where that uh, where the original Mario Brothers game takes place at but not in real life but in the video game it does so next up is Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box another another brain teaser game here brain solver puzzler game here so yep there's that next is six flags fun park a quest filled adventure and 40 mini games this is right here so you guys can see that there um i don't have the um i don't have the um i don't have the i don't have the actual i don't have the actual game anymore though i, think I gave it to one of my cousins and i never got it back and they lost it or something now this game, I showed you guys, I showed you guys the case of it, but it, but this is the cartridge for it. Jaws Ultimate Predator. This is this is um um um, um this is this is my absolute favorite um, movie series of like sharks and stuff like that. That's Jaws, the Ultimate Predator, right there, as you guys can see. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite shark shark movie series to watch. So yep, all the other shark movies are good to watch, but I think the Jaws series is good to bet. Good. The, the, the best one to watch if you guys are interested in some of the Jaws movies. I think there's some on either um, Disney Plus or like um, Netflix or um, I saw some on Peacock and I think there's some on like Paramount Plus and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check out that that, that little series, you guys can. Next up is, ooh, these these little um, action figure, like little slime guys called the um the thrash pack the trash pack however you say that put the gross gang in your garbage so right there for that no yeah. yep there's that one and all right put those 3ds games on top actually put that right there and then next up i'm gonna go ahead and put these games back in there too um oh okay I say, where's my other Super Nintendo? Not, I didn't know I had two Super Nintendo games here to show you guys. The first one is, I think this is like Fox Entertainment, because because I know it wasn't Disney. 
It says the page master was Macaulay Culkin or C Corey Culkin. One of those, one of those twin brothers in the movie. That played in the movie right there. That also played, um, one of those guys, one of those guys actually also played in the Home Alone movie series. Of the first two movies of the Home Alone series right there. As you guys can see. So, yep, there's that. And then, uh, well, Ouija. It's just a Ouija, but you're going to have to be right there. Next up is, ooh, this is, uh, this was another one again. One of my games that was most of my childhood, too. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Yeah, I got this. I got this game when it first came out a long, long time ago. I think it came out in, like, oh, it says it right here. 1995. Wow. Long, long time ago. Next up I have is, ooh, a couple, a couple N64 games. I'll show you guys. The original Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, 64. Right there, as you guys can see. And then next up is... Um, I think, I think I have a, um, I have a Game Boy Advance version, I showed you guys this game, I think it was like San Francisco Rush 2000, or San Francisco Rush 3000, but this one is San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing, here as you guys can see, right there, original N64 game, now then, um, the original Yoshi's Island, or Yoshi's Story, right there, again, Super Nintendo, but this is an N64 version of it right there, so, yeah, there's that. Now I'm going to try to finish this off. Um, I have a gameplay video that I want to do, but before we, before we get into that, though, I want to show you guys, I wanna show you guys the rest of these little games here. Um, I think I'm going to fit these Game Boy games, and I guess I can fit the rest of these Super Nintendo games. Oh, more Super Nintendo games, too. I forgot about here, guys. I want to at least fit in here. I guess I can fit one in here and put the rest wherever. Oh, I'm going to show you guys this one first. Um, another Tecmo Bowl, Super Bowl, another football game, guys. Be you aim right there. I'm gonna put that one in there. And then I have, um, Tiny Toon Adventures, Busters, Bus Loose. That one right there. And then I played this game a lot. This, um, this, this game a lot in my childhood, too, guys. This is, um, Yoshi's Tetris Attack. The Super Nintendo version. I think this is on the Super Nintendo... The, like, the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, PC, I think it was on, um, GameCube, and, um, let's see, what else was it on? Was it on, um, I think there's a, um, Nintendo 64 version of it. And I know there was a, there was a Super Nintendo version 64, or Nintendo 64 version of, um, what's that, what's that game? What's that game? The, in my, uh, the game where you play with Mario. Um, with the, with the pills and the virus characters, Dr. Mario, that's it, Dr. Mario. There was a 64, Nintendo 64 version of that. And I put this, put, put Tiny Toons in here. Yeah, I can. I think that's probably it for that drawer. Put this drawer away, guys. And... Those games aren't gonna fit in here. I'm just gonna have to put them on top of on top of my on top of my Popeye the Sailor Man movie. Robin Williams. Clock Tours edition comic books there that I got. You can put Yoshi Touches Attack in there as well. Um let's see. Oh, this one's just an empty case. Empty case with like a seventeen dollar sticker in it. I think that's the case that was my, um, that had the Harry Potter game that I showed you guys. For the Game Boy in the other video, in the part one of it. I think that's where that case came from. Um, and, ooh. Um. The original Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And, this cartridge is a little beat up. I think this is Link's Awakening DX version. Right there. Kind of beat up there. So, sorry you guys have to see that. And then the very, very first Super Mario Game & Watch Gallery game, right there, so, yeah, for that, so yeah, there's that, and let's see, I'm gonna put those, yep, those right there, oh, and the last Game Boy game I wanna show you guys, um, 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 um there's, there's one more game, but I don't have the case or the actual game, but I do have the actual manual that I wanna show you guys, 
Okay, but there's this last game boy game first here. Um, I say this Ken Griffey Jr. Well, I was I used to I used to pronounce it King Griffey Jr., but it's Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball Game Boy Edition. Yep, this was also this was the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Super Nintendo, NES, and PC game, I believe. So yep, there's that. And then the last this is the very, very last thing I have for my collection, guys. This is um I used to say it's Tao's or Tao's Adventure. Curse of the Demon Seal. I don't have the actual um I don't have the actual um I don't have the actual game or the or the case for it anymore, but I still got the I'm still keeping the manual for it though. I've had this manual. Um I actually got this game when it first came out too. But uh, I think I I think I, I think I took it to uh, I think I took the game in the case to GameStop. And, and got got store credit, got a different game for it though, so but I still got the manual. I want to keep the manual though for some reason. I don't know why, but don't ask me. But I just want to keep it though. I think this is supposed to be like a like a mix between Zelda, Final Fantasy slash Pokemon type game. So if you guys want to check it out yourself, it's Tails Adventure and it's on the Nintendo DS. But this is just a game manual. To go look for it at your local video game store or wherever you guys buy video games from or whatever. So But anyway, yep, that's it for this video for now. I uh, uh, I think that is finally it. Uh, uh, finally it for that video game, for my video game collection. I think that's all the video games that I have. I showed you guys every single last bit of video games that I had there. So, anyway, uh, for a gameplay video today, um, the YouTube channel, what is it, Kit and Krista or something like that? Uh, the people, uh, the people that used to be on the Nintendo channel, but now they got their own channel still. Um, um, they actually, um, you know, uh, they, they, they actually made some um, um, Super Mario Maker 2 levels inspired by the Super Mario Bros. movie and trailer. So I have five levels of that that I want to do here. Try uh, I, I watched the video already, but I got the levels so I can try it with you guys here. And then also, um, there's another Super Mario Maker 2 level called The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Colors or something. A level that somebody made. Like a, like a Zelda ROM hack or something that somebody made. So I'm going to try out that level as well. So, yeah, I got like five or s five or six levels for that. Uh, for the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer. For Super Mario Maker 2 that I want to try out for, for the levels I want to try out for you guys. And then the, the Super Mario Maker 2 Legend of Zelda, the Legend of Colors um, level I'm going to try out today for a, uh, for a gameplay video for you guys. I wrote down all the, all the codes right here, so... But yep, I think that's it for this video for now. I think that is the end of my I think that is the end of my video game collection. I was trying to look for my Super Mario Maker uh game. Like it's just my Super Mario Maker one game. I think it's show you guys I show you guys the I show you guys the collector's just in case, but I can't find the actual case and game for it though. This is what I thought I had. I don't think I have it anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Wii U version of the Lego. Lego uh, the Lego Movie, the video game. I don't wanna, I don't wanna show you guys. I think I already showed you guys that one already. And uh, um, I showed you guys all my video game, my um GameCube collection. Um, when I did a video on the um, you have to go, you have to go search for the video on my channel. Um, Nintendo GameCube was like 30th anniversary or something. I showed you guys all those games. And it was also for um, it was also for um, the Luigi's Mansion GameCube, for the Luigi's Mansion. Um, what was it the the twenty fifth or twenty sixth or twenty seventh anniversary or something like that. I showed you guys all those games. Um. So, but yep. And then, uh, let's see. Ah, crap. That's gonna bug me. I was trying to find it before I started this video out here, but I don't think I know where it is right now. I don't think I know where my Mario Maker. Most of my. Most of my DVDs and stuff are all up here where I'm looking at it, guys. If you guys want to know where I'm looking at. Uh, I don't think I know where my Mario Maker is. I assume Mario Maker won't the actual, the actual case for it is. But, eh. Here's the case. Here's the 
case for it, but the game's not in it. Dang it. I'm going to have to find the game. I'm going to have to find the game. I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the game for it, but here's the actual case for the first Super Mario Maker 1. Uh, as you guys can see. So, yeah, but I don't have the game. I sadly don't have the game in here. I don't know where the game is. But anyway, yep, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go up. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to get off here and go do those Mario Maker 2 um, Super Mario Bros. movie levels and that, um, in that, in that, in that Zelda Colors level 2 as well for you guys for a gameplay video today as well, so. Um, yeah, I got all my books. I have to, I have to go, um, my, um, my books are right here that I, uh, that I set up to record. To hold my phone still on my, and, and, um, that I set my, um, my switch on. I got my switch here to play it, to play it right here. Mario Maker. This is what I'm, this, this is what I play Mario Maker 2 on, if you guys are wondering, but, yep, yeah, I'm going to go set these books up and set my phone up, and then I'll, I'll set my switch up, and I'll get the codes, and I'll, I'm going to do those codes for you guys right now for the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer levels and that Zelda colors level. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For the rest of my video game collection, if you guys who enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Uh, like, subscribe, favorite, and share. My name is Anthony. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm going to go upload this first, and I'll do the and I'll do the Mario Maker, another Mario Maker 2 gameplay for you guys. So, yep, talk to you guys next video. My name is Anthony, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys. Peace.